Yeah, Alicia Ferguson, as you may remember, was convicted on nine counts of public corruption right here back in 2013. His attorneys are now pushing for a compassionate release, and the reason they say is twofold. Chief among those reasons is the fact that his co-defendant, former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, is already free. Mr. Ferguson's sentence was too long as compared with his co-defendant Kwame Kilpatrick and other defendants convicted of similar crimes, writes Bobby Ferguson's attorneys in this new motion to reduce his sentence. Ferguson is serving a 21-year sentence for racketeering, extortion, and fraud. His current release date isn't until 2031. His attorneys are asking U.S. District Court Judge Nancy Edmonds, who sentenced both Ferguson and Kilpatrick back in 2013, to consider not only Kilpatrick's commutation granted by former President Trump, but also Ferguson's health amid the pandemic as reasons to grant his freedom. What we know collectively as a family is that we want our brother home. Ferguson's cousin spoke with seven investigator Ross Jones back in January, shortly after Kilpatrick was granted freedom. He said keeping his cousin behind bars doesn't make sense. I know the system is corrupt. I know how the system is. I know that it's not, you know, it's not designed for us. In addition to having high cholesterol and hypertension, Ferguson's 65% lung capacity, a result of being shot in the chest back in 1998, quote, significantly increased Mr. Ferguson's risk for lethal effects should he be exposed to COVID-19, his attorneys say. They also claim Ferguson has been a model prisoner and that his release poses no threat to the general public. Ferguson's attorneys also point out that his current facility in Ohio has 31 active cases of COVID-19, which again, they say given his pre-existing health conditions poses an even greater risk to him. They also point out that he is remorseful, something we did not see back here in 2013. As for Kilpatrick, he's kept a relatively low profile since his release. He does have an Instagram account so far, only a handful of photos. Most of those are him with family. Reporting live this morning in downtown Detroit. Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. All right, we'll see what plays out. Thank you, Jen, for that live update.